I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting integral to be found. We need to find integral of e to the power of x sin x dx. We will use integration by parts to solve this question. We have product of two functions. So the idea is we have product of two functions, right? So whenever you say product of functions, then think about integration by parts. Now whenever you have product of two functions, the the question is which one should we take as u and which one should we take as dv. Now when the choice is between exponential and trigonometric functions, either can work, right? Both can work. Uh, so, so let's take e to the power of x as, as u. So we'll take u as e to the power of x and we'll take dv as sin x dx, okay? Now, integral of this is du equals to e to the power of x dx, I mean derivative, and integral of this is v, and that is minus cos x, right? So, so we could apply the integration by part to find this integral, right? So, we need to multiply this and take away, take away integral of that product it so let's do that so we could write this as equal to when you multiply these you get minus cos x e to the power of x and minus integral of product of these two since this is negative let me make this positive and you get e to the power of x cos x dx now that really didn't help us much right instead of sine we got cosine but what you observe here is that if we do one more step then cosine will get converted to sine and then we can actually do some algebraic operation and solve it right so so let's look into the second integral now so this one we are looking into now so again we'll do the same steps and we should take uh, integral of uh, so let me change the ink this time so let's say this time u is equals to e to the power of x and dv is equals to cos x dx so we get du as e to the power of x dx and v after integrating this gets sin x all right so that is that is v and we can actually again apply the rule integration by part multiply these and take away this integral right so we have to take away this integral okay so let's do that and rewrite the given integral so we could write this as minus cos x e to the power of x and here we'll do plus product of these two is e to the power of x sin x and minus integral of this and this which is e to the power of x sin x dx now all this is equals to that integral do you see that now you see these two things are same right so we have this integral in terms of its own integral. Do you see that? Those are very similar. So that gives us an idea that we can bring the two terms together, rearrange and solve, correct? So, so what we can do now here is, we'll write this as, now this part, this part should have been here, right? So we'll write this, rewrite the equation. So we have integral of e to the power of x sine x dx equals to minus cos x e to the power of x plus e to the power of x sine x minus integral of e to the power of x sine x dx, right? So we can bring this to the left side, so it becomes two times this number, right? Two times this function. So now we can say two times integral of e to the power of x sine x dx equals to these two things right which is minus you could write this as e to the power of x cos x plus 
e to the power of x sine x, right? So what is the integral of the function? So product of e to the power of x sine x dx now can be written as half of you can write this as e to the power of x sine x minus e to the power of x cos x right so so that is the result so sometimes what happens is that you get the same function then you can rearrange and get the answer now this is a very important integral we'll keep a note of this and we'll apply it in solving one of our questions so i'll show you the i'll provide a link here also and in that video so that you can see how we build a library of uh, integrals and then we can use it uh, to our advantage i'm anil kumar and i hope this helps you can always share and subscribe to my videos thank you and all the best